This is Michael Oral of MobileBurn.com, and today I have with me the Samsung T919 Behold, a new all-touchscreen device for T-Mobile. The Behold looks something like the Samsung Instinct that Sprint's been offering for a while. Uh, the Behold has a 3.1-inch diagonally measured 400 by 240 pixel touchscreen display and very few controls. You can see we've got call send and end here and a dedicated back button. On the left hand edge we have the power and headset port. It's a standard Samsung connector. No micro USB or anything yet. Uh, right above that is the volume control. On the back is the previously mentioned 5 megapixel autofocus camera with a self portrait mirror and a LED assist light flash. On the right hand edge is a dedicated lock button and down here is the shutter button. The Behold supports all four major GSM and Edge bands used throughout the world and also works on T-Mobile's 1700 MHz 3G network in the US. I'm rather fond of the design of the back of the device. I like the way this little slider here moves out which makes it easy to remove the rear cover just falls right off once that slider is out of position. You can see the micro SD card slot is inside here and it requires the battery to be removed before you can swap out cards. SIM cards right here and of course you can still see the camera. Just click that back in and it's securely held. Rather nice. The Behold runs Samsung's TouchWiz UI and you can see it here. TouchWiz is made up of widgets that can be moved around the desktop and put onto a widget tray here and dragged back out. You can move widgets anywhere and they can even overlap each other which can be a little bit confusing. Tapping on this little arrowhead here brings the tray in and out so you can get to additional icons. One of the nice things about the TouchWiz UI on this device as opposed to on things like the Omnia is you can actually tap on things that are in the tray to launch them. It makes it a little more convenient. Yeah, one of the reasons I'm not a real fan of TouchWiz is when you're trying to stay organized, you know, it, you know, things move when you tap them too easily and where they sit on the tray just depends on where you drag them so it's kind of hard to keep things in an order that you might like. But it's definitely nice that you can access the widgets directly from the tray, something you can't do on most of the TouchWiz devices. The main menu on the Behold is brought up with this little on-screen key right here. Looks very similar again to that on the Omnia. Things are pretty straightforward. The display vibrates a little bit when you click on it. The frame rate on the animations for scrolling is a little slow, so it's easy to lose track of where you are, but it works reasonably well. And you get some sort of visual indication of where you are in a list by looking at the scroll bar on the right-hand edge. This is a resistive type touch screen, so you're, I'm actually pressing on it. It's not touch sensitive in the way an iPhone would be. It requires pressure. But you can use your fingertip or fingernail. Both work equally well. Dedicated back button on here and gets you back out of the menus. Down at the bottom here we have dedicated buttons for bringing up the phone you know, for the dialer. Again, the haptic feedback of the vibrations make it easier to use. Dials pretty well. We'll create a new message so you can see how the on screen typing works. Just tap into the text area. This is a test message. Works very well. Uh, again, the feedback's really nice. Notice there's also a QWERTY mode. This is a little more difficult to use than the short type version, but it also works well. If I weren't looking from behind a camera, actually, I'd be able to use this a lot quicker. You can, of course, add images, 
sounds or other things and make it an MMS message. This brings up the camera UI and you might have just noticed my finger in front of the lens. It's actually one of the real complaints with the design I have is my finger always wants to be in front of that lens on the camera. You can keep your hand out of the way though. You can see that the camera UI is pretty nice. Simple buttons for turning on, flash, changing brightness. Everything works really well. You can see it's a 5 megapixel camera, but you can take lower resolution photos if you like. I'm going to stick with 5. Hit OK. Use the camera shutter button. It's a little slow to focus but it takes reasonable photos. You can see it also can focus close. We'll jump into the photo viewer just so you can see how that works. You know, the full gallery mode, of course. Swipes auto rotation on screen zoom control pretty slow though with 5 megapixel images but you can see the images look pretty nice